The Rise of the Forty Elephants, England's Infamous All-Female Gang The Forty Elephants Gang, a notorious all-female criminal organization, gained infamy in London for their daring shoplifting and burglary operations. Their activities spanned several decades, making them one of the most enduring criminal groups in British history. The gang's exploits have intrigued historians and crime enthusiasts alike. Their origins trace back to the late 19th century, emerging in the bustling streets of London. The group was initially formed as a response to economic hardships and limited opportunities for women. They quickly established themselves as a formidable force in the criminal underworld, adapting and evolving over time. The gang's leadership played a crucial role in their success. Figures like Alice Diamond and Mary Carr became household names, known for their strategic acumen and ruthless enforcement of the gang's code. These leaders commanded respect and fear, ensuring the group's cohesion and effectiveness. Elephant and Castle, a district in South London, served as the gang's primary base of operations. This area provided the perfect environment for their illicit activities, offering both anonymity and access to affluent shopping districts. The gang's name itself is derived from this geographical connection. Recruitment into the 40 elephants was selective, with strict criteria ensuring only the most skilled and trustworthy women were admitted. Prospective members were often vetted for their loyalty, dexterity, and ability to blend into high society. This meticulous selection process maintained the gang's high standards and operational security. The 40 Elephants Gang was remarkable for its all-female composition, a rarity in the criminal underworld. This unique aspect not only distinguished them from their male counterparts, but also allowed them to exploit societal expectations of women, often enabling them to commit crimes with less suspicion and greater ease. Notable leaders like Alice Diamond and Mary Carr leveraged their charisma and cunning to recruit new members. These leaders were pivotal in maintaining the gang's structure and discipline, ensuring that each member adhered to the gang's rules and contributed to its criminal enterprises effectively. The gang was strategically based in the Elephant and Castle area of London, a bustling commercial hub. This location provided ample opportunities for theft and facilitated coordination with male gangs like the Elephant and Castle mob, enhancing their criminal reach and operational efficiency. Recruitment into the 40 Elephants required a blend of skill, loyalty, and discretion. Prospective members needed to demonstrate their prowess in shoplifting or burglary, as well as their ability to blend into high society environments where many of their targets operated, ensuring the gang maintained its reputation for effectiveness. The 40 elephants were adept at coordinating with male gangs, most notably the elephant and castle mob. This collaboration allowed them to share intelligence, resources, and strategies, thereby expanding their criminal network and fortifying their operations against law enforcement efforts. The 40 Elephants significantly influenced other female gangs by demonstrating that women could be as organized and effective in criminal activities as their male counterparts. Their success in pulling off sophisticated heists and maintaining a tight-knit group inspired similar female-led organizations to form and operate with comparable levels of audacity and skill. Infamous heists carried out by the 40 Elephants included high-profile department store robberies and jewelry thefts. Their ability to plan and execute these crimes with precision often left law enforcement baffled. The gang's reputation grew as they consistently outwitted security measures, making them legends in the criminal underworld. The gang's code of conduct emphasized loyalty, secrecy, and mutual support. Members were expected to adhere strictly to these unwritten rules, ensuring internal cohesion and minimizing the risk of betrayal. This code fostered a sense of belonging and purpose, making the 40 Elephants a formidable and resilient organization. Law enforcement's response to the 40 Elephants was aggressive, but often ineffective. Police efforts included surveillance, infiltration, and coordinated raids, yet the gang's adaptability and use of disguises frequently thwarted these measures. The authorities struggled to keep pace with the gang's evolving tactics and widespread influence. High-profile arrests and trials of 40 Elephants members brought the gang into the public eye, highlighting both their criminal prowess and the challenges faced by law enforcement. These legal battles were often sensationalized in the media, adding to the gang's notoriety and cementing their place in criminal history. 
The portrayal of the 40 Elephants gang in the media often leaned towards sensationalism, capturing public imagination with tales of daring heists and cunning disguises. Newspapers and periodicals of the time frequently emphasized the gang's all-female composition, adding an element of intrigue and challenging traditional gender roles in crime narratives. Law enforcement's response to the 40 Elephants was a mix of intensified surveillance and strategic crackdowns. Authorities struggled to keep up with the gang's innovative methods and the women's ability to blend seamlessly into high society. Despite numerous arrests, the gang's operations often outpaced police efforts, showcasing their resourcefulness. High-profile arrests and trials of 40 Elephants members were widely publicized, drawing significant public attention. These legal proceedings often became spectacles, highlighting the tension between the gang's criminal activities and their audacious defiance of societal norms. The trials also revealed the inner workings and hierarchies within the gang, offering rare insights. During the World Wars, the 40 Elephants adapted to the changing social and economic landscapes. Wartime disruptions provided both challenges and opportunities as the gang exploited shortages and black markets. Their activities during this period underscored their resilience and ability to navigate through tumultuous times, maintaining their criminal enterprises. The decline of the 40 elephants in the mid-20th century was gradual, marked by increased law enforcement pressure and societal changes. As post-war Britain evolved, so did the nature of crime and policing. The gang's eventual dissolution left behind a legacy of notoriety and a fascinating chapter in the history of organized crime. The legacy of the 40 elephants is undeniable, as their audacious exploits have cemented them in the annals of criminal history. Their all-female composition challenged societal norms, making them a symbol of defiance and ingenuity. Their story continues to captivate, inspiring books, films, and academic studies. Women in organized crime history have often been overshadowed by their male counterparts, but the 40 elephants stand out prominently. Their success and notoriety highlight the significant roles women can play in criminal enterprises. They broke barriers, proving that women could be as cunning and strategic as men. Comparing the 40 elephants to other historical female gangs reveals their unique position. While many female gangs were auxiliary to male counterparts, the 40 elephants operated independently with unmatched sophistication. Their influence extended beyond their era, setting a precedent for future female criminal organizations. Effective leadership was crucial to the 40 Elephants' operations. Leaders like Alice Diamond and Mary Carr were pivotal, using charisma and strategic acumen to maintain order and loyalty. Their ability to inspire and control the gang ensured its longevity and success in a male-dominated criminal landscape. Famous members of the 40 Elephants, such as Diamond and Carr, left indelible marks on history. Their biographies reveal complex personalities driven by ambition and resilience. These women navigated the treacherous world of crime with skill, leaving behind stories that continue to intrigue and inspire. Alice Diamond and Mary Carr stand out as famous members of the 40 Elephants. Known for their leadership, cunning, and daring heists, they left an indelible mark on the gang's history. Their biographies reveal a blend of resilience, ambition, and a knack for criminal enterprise that fueled the gang's success. The 40 Elephants have inspired numerous literary and cinematic works. Their story, filled with daring thefts and clever disguises, captivates audiences. From novels to films, the gang's exploits provide rich material, often blending fact and fiction to explore themes of rebellion, empowerment, and the underworld's allure. Public perception of the 40 Elephants often romanticizes their criminal activities, painting them as anti-heroes. In reality, their operations were ruthless and calculated. This dichotomy highlights the complex nature of their legacy, where boldness and criminality intertwine, creating a narrative that's both compelling and controversial. Gender played a significant role in the gang's operations. Their all-female composition allowed them to exploit societal expectations and stereotypes, using their perceived innocence to their advantage. This unique dynamic not only facilitated their criminal endeavors, but also challenged contemporary notions of women's roles in society and crime. Crime in London during the late 19th and early 20th centuries provides a compelling backdrop for understanding the 40 elephants. 
the city's rapid industrialization and growing population created a fertile ground for criminal enterprises. The gang's emergence reflects broader social and economic shifts, making their story a vital part of London's criminal history. The 40 Elephants Gang's influence on modern crime is evident in the tactics and organizational skills seen in contemporary female-led criminal groups. Their legacy lives on through sophisticated shoplifting rings and burglary networks that employ similar strategies, showcasing the enduring impact of the 40 Elephants' innovative methods. Law enforcement techniques against the 40 elephants have evolved, incorporating surveillance, undercover operations, and advanced forensics. These methods, developed in response to the gang's cunning activities, have set precedents for dealing with organized crime. Today's police strategies owe much to the lessons learned from battling the notorious 40 elephants. Anecdotes and stories from former members paint a vivid picture of the gang's operations and internal dynamics. These personal accounts reveal the challenges and camaraderie within the group, offering an insider's perspective on their sophisticated heists and the tight-knit community that fueled their criminal endeavors. The economic impact of the 40 elephants' activities was significant, with local businesses suffering substantial losses due to their thefts. Their operations disrupted commerce, prompting retailers to adopt stricter security measures. This economic strain highlighted the broader implications of organized crime on local economies and the necessity for robust crime prevention strategies. The role of the 40 elephants in popular culture is undeniable, inspiring books, films, and television shows. Their story captivates audiences, blending intrigue with a rare focus on female criminality. This cultural fascination underscores the gang's unique place in history and the ongoing interest in their daring exploits. The 40 Elephants showcased a unique dynamic in the criminal world, often compared to male-dominated gangs. Their all-female composition challenged gender norms and demonstrated that women could be equally cunning and ruthless. This comparison highlights the versatility and adaptability of criminal enterprises, regardless of gender, in the face of societal constraints. The gang's influence extended beyond crime, seeping into fashion and trends. Their use of high-end clothing as both a disguise and a status symbol highlighted their sophistication. This dual role of fashion in their operations not only facilitated their crimes, but also cemented their place in the annals of style history. Understanding the psychological profiles of 40 Elephants members provides insight into their motivations and behaviors. Many came from challenging socioeconomic backgrounds, driving them to seek power and financial independence through crime. This analysis reveals the complex interplay between personal circumstances and the allure of a criminal lifestyle. The 40 Elephant story has become a subject of educational initiatives, shedding light on the role of women in organized crime. These programs aim to provide a nuanced understanding of historical and modern crime dynamics, emphasizing the importance of gender perspectives in criminology and the broader social sciences. The enduring fascination with the 40 elephants lies in their defiance of traditional gender roles and their audacious criminal exploits. Their legacy continues to captivate the public imagination, serving as a testament to the diverse narratives within the history of organized crime and the resilience of women in challenging societal norms.